and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the new Acura ILX. It competes in a segment of two. This car and the Buick Verano, maybe the Audi A3 and maybe the Lexus CT200H. The question is, has Acura rebranded the Civic or has it Acurified it enough to make it its own car? Let's find out together. So here's the rub. I'm here in beautiful Apache Junction, Arizona on Acura's dime. That also means that the information about this car is embargoed until next month. So as always, I can't tell you how it drives. I can only tell you the specs of the car, but I can show you how it drives. The ILX will come in three distinct flavors, and this is probably the most popular one. It's the 2 liter that produces 150 horsepower and 140 pound feet of torque, made it to a 5 speed automatic with paddle shifters. There's also a hybrid version, which is basically the rebadged Civic hybrid, and the hot car, the 2.4 liter that produces 201 horsepower. Ironically, they all have the same suspension setup. Acura says this 2 liter, which will undoubtedly be the most popular model in the lineup, will get 24 miles a gallon in the city and 35 on the highway. It'll start at $27,000 with the hybrid and the 2.4 starting at 30K. Yes, uh, it has this, about the same um, similar tandem distance in the rear seat as the TSX. I love this cut line right here. It reminds me of a Dodge Charger, which is not a bad thing for a Japanese entry-level luxury car, which this will be Acura's cheapest car. It's one of these cars that when you first look at it, it's kind of innocuous, but then if you take your time, and you look at the different angles, it's sporty and luxurious and expensive. And that's a very hard thing to pull off. We'll start with the standard package. That comes with some, some features I think uh, that will be popular. Things like push button start, standard, uh, the Pandora, internet radio, the SMS text messaging. Uh, that's all standard. Oh, as you can probably tell by the sound of that growl, I am now driving the 201 horsepower, 2.4 liter, six speed manual which, oddly enough, has the exact same suspension setup as the smaller engine car. So the question you might be asking yourself is, will Acura build an R-Spec or an R-Type? Well, the answer, unfortunately, is no. So this is what you got. <laughs> So the obvious question is, is this ILX a rebadged Civic? And the answer is no. It's too luxurious, it's too buttoned down, and honestly it feels more like a baby BMW than it does a Honda Civic. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. See you next time.